25 brackets. Here we go, yeah. Introducing first, Andrew Alexander. Here comes Alexander, 10th Planet Portland. Portland, Oregon. Yep, black belt. He won the Sapatero qualifier to get here. I've probably seen him before. I don't recognize him, but uh, good luck to him. Steve McMahon out there. And his find that seat. Mauricio Gomez. Mauricio's coming out of ATT Orlando. So we got Portland versus Orlando. More north versus south, but northwest is not kind of north. Both these guys are black belts. I'm going to vote for the local. I'm just going to put it out there. For the Florida boy. Game game. Want to see some soft slams. Just put that out there. And fighting. We're concerned with some arm drags. Some collar ties. Wrist and collar. Back of the neck slapping. Trying to get a good snap down. Ooh, oh, pretty much a snap. Whoa, right snap. into a leg lock. Tried the, tried the arm bar. Went for the, went for the aggression. For that. He's, got like that he's, he's got that leg. He's got it. He's got that leg deep. He's working. He got it out. Looks like. Nope. Mauricio is on him. Nope, he's not. Still working that leg. Alexander's trying to defend, get the leg out. Make sure he doesn't fall in the back position. See him kind of touching that right leg. Not really, uh, straightening it out, kind of going for it. Looks like he's trying to set something up, but at the same time, he's open to unentangle it. He looks a little defensive, yeah, for his, uh, he's, got, he's got his legs all tangled up. Trying to keep good posture. Nice. Up, nice. too far out. Joe, absolutely looking red like a fire truck. It's just him. He's okay. No worries. Look for the AO, be on the wrong side line. What's he going for? I can tell old Navy. Yeah, we have you all on your chest and going for that. Both look like they're kind of equal in the middle. Yeah, they're... Right on top of that uh, Paravita BJJ insert. That's the Costa Rica thing you're talking about. Yeah, man, that sounds super fun. Yeah. I'm supposed to keep quiet about it, but I'm pretty sure... There's some ladies you can pay in Costa Rica to get a little, little fun time, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to put that out there. But, uh, <clears throat> little PG-13, not going into details. You know, don't know. That's your company, Top Right, right? Yeah, that's me up there, Scientific Wrestling. Scientific Wrestling. Catch Wrestling. Yeah, so we'll see some of that a little bit later, but you'll see a lot of this, too. You'll see a lot of jockeying for leg locks. The real... Uh, difference you know being that the pin changes the dimension you know like this is just submission only and that's why it's trendy and super popular it's a great it's it's friendly to spectators but the athletes really love it um, the, the, the catch wrestling is a it's a lot like MMA insofar as there's two ways to win versus just the one way which is submission in, in these kind of rules catch you win with a pin or a submission so it adds a little bit of complexity Makes it a little bit harder. Quite got, a lot of times when you throw, you throw a shoulder up to get out of a pin and you know, expose yourself, you know what I mean? Definitely want to see catch wrestling come back. As Josh Lujuka said, I'm a catch wrestling champion. <laughs> um, as I sit next to an actual catch wrestling champion. No, no, I'm not a champ, but I'm, I've been around for a oh, minute. I know all that. Don't, don't be. It's okay. You're a champion. You're a champion in all of our eyes. I, am I in a special way or something? Yeah. No, you know, there's... It's a tough sport. I will give that to Curran, man. What I watched him do, who's the main event tonight, that was pretty unbelievable. The, the amount of... Uh, it's all on YouTube, those fights, the 2018 World Championships of Catch Wrestling. Definitely looks like uh, Oregon is losing his that leg. He's, he's, he's grabbed that leg for quite a bit. 
Yeah, it's just uh, Gomez. Uh, I would say, you know, if if they were going to a decision, Gomez has had Alexander on the defense, but that's not what we're playing. Here. It's they're playing to win, and if you don't get it, uh, you know, they're going to give you a draw. Well, I mean, you know what the best defense is, right? It's a strong offense. I don't know how that works, but that's what people. No, that's a great so. bromide. I love it. Just to keep throwing them out there. You say bromide. 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 I'm an okay. English major. Yeah. I I, I heard bro mind. Feel free to use that after this. It's, it's a bro mind. I definitely see uh, Orlando working more of an aggressive pattern. I mean, he's definitely put Alexander on the defense. I don't see a lot of offense out of uh, Andrew Alexander out of playing at Portland. Uh, but at the same time, I don't see Mauricio Gomez finishing. Andrew's got one hell of a defense. He's been pretty chill the whole time. Look at Joe. Just red. Looks like an apple slap. <clears throat> yeah, they both look, uh, this has been a fast This might be your uh, overtime match. Yeah, de definitely defensive, fast paced match. They both look calm and collected. None of them look like they're uh, struggling. I haven't practice. seen anybody in trouble for one of them. Again, LaDuke on the booking here. Uh, really strong booking. Absolutely. Josh LaDuke. <laughs> yeah, both just scuttling around. Both just kind of catching their They've breath. kind of been here at the same... Like, they both have neutralized each other. Yeah. <laughs> They've been trying to solve the same problem. Definitely an equal match. I mean, whoever switches up the game is going to have an advantage here because the guy, they've been both going for the same thing, this kind of entanglement, this 50-50 business. I feel like whoever just goes full tilt boogie will just crush, you know? Full tilt big boogie, yes. Oh, yeah. You just got to push that skinny down and just full out go for it. Can't really see from our camera angle, kind of just staring at Oregon. There we go. Oh, going for that heel, but he ain't gonna get it. It's too short. Hey, Andrew, if you don't see the heel, go for the straight. Oh, it's Samurai Jack coming from Oregon. Okay, all right. Bringing some old school adult swim to the. Oh, on the geek? Yeah, 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 I just noticed that. It looks like he's really going for that right leg right there. Yeah, he's probably going to stop him because of the rope entanglement. Yeah, he is pretty much half bodied out of the rope. Yeah, he's going to stop it right there. You know, I find it a little weird. We, we said we would have a third announcer. And I still feel bad for kicking out Gorilla Blanco, even though I didn't kick him out. You know, I'm he's so probably intimidated by the uh, the mullet. It's, yeah, the mullet. I know he's working on his own, so he's probably got a little mullet envy going. Yeah, it's okay. Some people can grow a mullet. Some people just don't. I think he's gonna be. He might give you his uh, run for the money, but I think you got a head start. Definitely, definitely. Go for that. Look at that. Look at that ankle. He's got a grip on that left ankle. I don't know if that means anything, but not much. I don't want someone touching up on my foot like that. Josh LaDuke to the right. Just saying. It almost looks that like I can't see that top um, sponsor. I can't read whatever uh, their mat. Says. One minute. 
Uh, we got one minute until uh, that would be overtime. Right? Yeah, I think, like I said, yeah, I think might this might first, give you your overtime. Yeah. You've been looking for it. Been waiting for it. Been waiting for self slams and overtime. So. Some aggressive plays, might not, never know. These guys definitely like they're they're definitely leg lockers. I mean, that is their both of them. So it's a real interesting uh, uh, even matchmaking. Both just going for leg locks. I haven't seen any chokes or arm attacks. I always like to pay attention to the hands because I, I want to be the first one to see that tap. I mean, I guess the arm attack, the only arm attack was that flying arm bar attempt. But from then on out, they hit the ball. Definitely too greasy right here. They're in the same position. These guys are really even on the on the leg locks. I think you're here's your overtime. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be yeah, there's time, there's overtime. We'll take a little train break, leave it up to my uh, professional uh, partner here, Jake. Which is a great uh, time for sponsors too. NirvanaCBD.com, CIB Arms, CIB Arms, Gunsmiths for your Second Amendment needs, Pure Vita, BJJ, and Surf Camps, Mad Viper, check them out. They just got uh, a partnership with Chuck Adele, very cool. Schismatic Industries, get, uh, get your hands on their trash panda rash guard. Scientific Wrestling, of course, and Catch Wrestling, Dot Ninja. Right now we got Andrew Alexander versus Mauricio Gomez. At least we see him out of the uh, leg attacks. Now he's trying to take it back. I mean, Mauricio's really been putting it on him. Oh, we got in the house. Yeah, we got Kenny. GB is here. Working to the body triangle here, locking down the position. Now he's doing a good job. Of he's got risk control. Out. He's got risk control. He's not sweating. Yep. Now he's in for oh, oh. between the legs. He's How's freaking position? out a little bit right there. He's trying to get that hand off his throat. You can one arm choke from here if possible. However, these are tough elite competitors. You're not going to go down without fight. Yeah, there we go. Wrist control. Get the hand control. Don't come back up. Get back to the ground. He's more worried about those wrists and those legs, but as soon as he feels good about that wrist, he'll probably start out tying the body, seat, that, uh, body triangle. This is a tough position because you're getting ball constrictor with the body, but at the same time, you got to get the noose off, off your back before you step off the puck. The, uh, platform. Well, that's the thing. Like you know, up top with the choke, he's going for the quick choke. But what people fail to recognize is that body scissor is a slow choke because you just keep it a lung squeeze. You can't get a good deep breath. These guys are working hard. I mean, Mauricio is definitely the more aggressive, but you know, I don't, I don't think there's no judge, so we gotta finish. You know what's amazing to me about these guys, not the, the offense, but the composure of the guys. These guys are getting in tough positions and working their ways out. They, yeah, they're, not, they're calm. They're not freaking out. I mean, that's the pro, right? Yeah, I remember the early UFCs in class of Matt Cage reaching for the legs and just got choked out from that. Yeah, take it back and just got to work it out. Risk control. We're barely a third there. Okay. And Mauricio's working hard, but I mean, Alexander's got a hell of a defense. Oh, he's going for that wrestler kill team, that twister. I don't know what he's got. Nope, he's not. That's it. we get the draw. That's how we roll here at Sapatero. Oh, nope. Oh, yeah, this is EBI, so they got one more go. Here we go. Switched it off now. Risk control. Look at Mauricio. He's not letting him have that, that choke. He's holding on to that hand for dear life. Same body triangle. Got body scissor there. Protecting the face and the threat. You know, it's amazing to see techniques going in our style. It seems like people have spent so much time working on the leg and table. That's now we're seeing the body scissors in the back of the come back. Yeah, that first, uh, that first couple minutes, man, they were they were stuck trying to solve the leg lock game. That's for sure. And then this back take uh, is uh, a lot of defense, a lot of risk control for both camp, both uh, competitors. Running out of time. It's the time trusted back here. 
Watching the uh, offensive competitor, uh, how he constantly keeps trying to adjust the position on the rest of the game. You know, every which way he's working, at, it's almost like he's deep sea fishing, just working the reel to see what's best the fish. That's right. Mauricio's defense is solid. I, I don't see much happening here. I see Josh Leduc. Uh, Juggling about, it looks like a cell phone, about three water bottles. Staying hydrated. Nice. Oh, here we go. Let's see again. I missed it. Escaped. Like that. Escaped. He's got a little uh, little son on the way. It won't be the godfather because he didn't give him uh, my first name as a middle name, but he will be, I will be the cool uncle at least. You know, so. Oh, yeah. There you go, Mommy. So let's go. Hard cross face with the top man. Pump the ball. Pump the ball. Is that why he's wearing black? Get your bicep. Push his wrist and get your bicep. Maybe just because it's slimming and Josh is a little... Let's see what happens here, man. You're going to have to get out. Come on, Alexander. This, this is not looking good. I can't see the angle on the front, but it's not looking good. He got oh, it. Mauricio Go Gomez. Go. ATT Orlando. Maybe I'm back. It's, uh, we, we almost evened out my win-to-loss betting ratio, so we might just see me being able to bet winners. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? So this is the overtime. Yeah, it's so it's definitely interesting. Now, get out, get out, get out, turn, turn, turn. Keep turning, keep turning. A little bit, a little bit more. Oh, you got it. You got it out. He's got it. Good win. Wow. Good win. Mauricio Gomez with the escapes. Orlando Loco wow. beating out wow. probably the farthest competitor we have out of Oregon. 